Is bile anything to worry about? Especially when it's in your stomach. Well, it couldn't be a great finding if you are finding bile in the stomach. Um, whenever I first got this question, I thought it was people that maybe were sick. You know, maybe sometimes after you've been out after a heavy night of drink. Maybe not. Maybe it's just me. And if you're sick, sometimes you can end up uh, vomiting up the bile from your stomach lining. And I was wondering, is that the question or is it a more sinister sort of question? But issues with bile normally does stem from liver issues. Hence, maybe my a night of heavy drinking ends up with this result of booking up your bile. But the liver is responsible for maintaining homeostasis of the bile, which is why I've said that the liver is sort of essential when it comes to perhaps finding bile within the stomach. I mean, the liver is essential for the production, secretion, absorbing, absorption, reabsorption and storage of the bile so if there are if there are really any issues with the four main with these four main processes then you're going to have to look into liver and gallbladder issues and we do see in research papers that the liver is key to regulating gastrointestinal function if you don't have any symptoms though and there is nothing i don't really think there's anything to worry about however pretending nothing but really pretending nothing is wrong especially if you are finding bile within your stools or maybe perhaps a doctor has said that there is bile in your stomach or you ever would be doing such an exam. There is no increased risk of cancer however. The metaplasia and the metaplasia in cells is really whenever our stomach line has become more resilient to the bile and acid reflux and this can happen in the esophagus as well. The two issues could be interlinked though as insufficient bile flow would create an environment which may decrease hydrochloric acid production and if the bile flow is sluggish we need to be careful with the amounts of refined sugars and trans fats that we're eating especially things like high fructose corn syrup and then the trans fats maybe from you know your packets of crisps and then you know your margarines and stuff that would come in your cookies and cakes but from a mental and an emotional perspective i think that the liver and the gallbladder issues stem really from anger and resentment and being affected with ideas or situations where you are repeatedly angered or made to feel resentful it is one sure way to diminish liver and gallbladder function but if you can resolve the anger and the resentment, a lot of the times you can resolve the emotional reactivity. And then within the organ you can restore function to the functioning of that organ as a homeostatic, as a fundamental homeostatic sort of operation that allows the mechanisms of the body to remain in homeostasis and it restores sort of function to the organ systems. Because the liver really is your multi-centre, it's your, it really is your main sort of, how would we say, it is the sort of chief executive officer within your organs within your organ systems it really it does so much for your body if you just go on the pub pubmed and type in the liver especially the physiology aspects of it you're going to get a host of information of how important your liver really is so i would advise you guys to look after your liver so thank you guys and i'll speak to you all soon again